Hello, everyone. My name is Emily Golia. I am a Los Angeles-based actor, singer, and creator, and I am here with Daria Madrova, who is also, Hi. and she is an, so multifaceted. She is a content creator, an entrepreneur, a fashion blogger. It, it, she does absolutely everything. It is so wonderful to have you here, Daria. How are you doing? Hi, Emily. So nice to meet you here. Great. Thank you. <laughs> So, glad. So, so can you tell all of us, we were just talking about how you're really focusing right now on digital content creation. What kind of things have you been making? So basically uh, right now I'm working with brands and creating for them like uh, videos, mostly videos right now. I'm focused on videos, like uh, I'm working on uh, creating content for my blog and for brands themselves. So basically I started like an influencer creating content only for me for myself and now i'm trying to go to the next level and to expand it and to create content for brands as well because actually right now content is everything whatever you do you need to have your yeah, digital uh, platform where you can show up with you your products and whatever you do without yeah. online presence it doesn't make any sense especially during pandemic this uh, the demand grew up in this field and uh, it's great that phoenix elsa has a platform where you can show up your content it's actually elsa content whatever you do right like yes, it's, exactly no i'm so glad you see it like that and so what kind of content are you are you creating for what types of brands yeah so basically uh, i am focused on wellness brands on fashion as well but sustainable fashion mostly oh, so actually important. yeah like also i like to support uh women entrepreneurship so when we, women yeah based women-based right. businesses right <laughs> so actually women empowerment is a big part of what i'm doing and I'm writing sometimes articles for magazines about that. So I'm actually trying to, uh, also I'm a contributor. So I, I was writing for Cosmopolitan, Mary Claire, yes. Vogue. Vogue, I wanted to ask you about that. That is so <laughs> impressive that you've written for all of those publications. I mean, how did that happen for you? So basically, uh, I have I, like I was working a lot with beauty and fashion brands, and I'm always trying to find like macro trends. So I'm speaking about those topics for macro trends which I care about. So sustainability, women empowerment, like technology, and it's all for the prism of those topics. And when I'm writing like the topic, so for example, I'm writing about um beauty brands and i'm trying to speak about um, how they are sustainable how they're like you know organic and like yes. a lot of those that is so important because i am always looking for organic and sustainability when when i'm shopping whatever it's fashion or it's beauty it's uh it's important i believe to cover those uh um uh, to, to 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 see that from that angle Yes, absolutely. And it, we need these things, these things to be spread because we need to be saving the earth. And that is, the, that's, this is how we're going to do it. I mean, sustainable fashion is so important. Yeah, I'm sustainable so fashion. That you're part of that. So tell me more about your entrepreneurship. You said, um, you said you were starting an art gallery. So actually, yeah, I'm from Russia. You can hear my accent. <laughs> so, so, and yeah, in Russia, I had our, the company, my beauty box. It's like Birch Box, but based in Russia. And I sold this company and I came here and I was always interested in art. And I found investor, I found a partner who are else interested in art. And we set up a little gallery, art gallery in Orchard Street. So, and it's Orchard Gallery, right? And we've been working on this project during a uh, year and a half before pandemic. But when all these things happened, we transferred online. And right now we're actually thinking to go to NFT to like a little bit transform our content. It's already digital, right? But we want to try uh, to develop it to the new 
path in a new path in a new way oh yeah and another actually yeah it's uh, it's one of the projects i'm working on and another project is uh w downtown gallery so basically uh we are working with w residents uh in downtown new york city and we create some exhibitions with uh new york city pop up for pop art artists that so is there we yeah when did you move to New York or when did you leave Russia? So actually I moved like five years ago, but I was studying English. So yeah, I had a, like a long journey and then I was working on my visa and uh, I got O1 visa. It's mm -hmm. visa for uh, artist, artistic visa. Yes, like as kind of visa, we love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that, that's just so happened, much. yeah. You, you, truly you've accomplished so much in, in five years with a language barrier and moving and everything I'm just you are so incredibly impressive you do it is it's amazing I <laughs> thank you talking with you thank you so about, um uh I loved what you were saying earlier about about the Phoenix app and what are you most excited about um to have this app where artists and collaborators and creators of all kind can um all gather in one place online yeah, that's actually awesome because I believe, especially right now, we are living in digital time, right? And everything is online. And I like that everyone can have an access because before artists, they always had to connect with some uh, company who would promote them. Yes. And who and but right now you have so many platforms, right? And you can do a lot of by yourself. And it's great that there is one more great platform where you can do post your content and to find your audience and you can make money on that. And it's all amazing because all artists, they just uh, like, sometimes they just suffer because they don't know even how to go there, right? They, right. they just, uh, maybe they are focused on the creating their art, but they don't know any marketing, promotional, you know, th tricks and how to promote themselves. And this is what they have to know. And this is awesome that they can be more independent and uh, to do it so easily. Yes. <laughs> it's not complicated, yeah. Yes, no, that is exactly it. And we are so excited to have you here on the app. And everyone, if you wanna know more about Daria, I'm putting links about her underneath this video. And um, yeah, thank you so much for being here. It was so wonderful to talk to you and hear thank all about you. your many many talents and many I'm many projects yeah it was so like it's all, i'm so excited you. to see where you go and and follow your journey so thank you for being here thank you so much emily i'm really glad to speak speak yes. with you and thank you so much for this opportunity to share my passions and what i'm doing right now and uh, very cool if people like me will connect with me through your platform and we could continue our conversations yes. yeah, about potential opportunities. Exactly. We love that. All right. We'll talk soon. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. <laughs>